Put so me on the camera. Okay, but uh, here on the front. Uh, you can go just walk around. Okay. And come over here. So, hi, I'm William Vasquez, Coach V, CoachVTennis.com. This is your Coach V video tip. So, I got clients that don't know where they are in time and space. So today we're going to show you my forehand using the net, the doubles line, the singles line, and the singles line for the 60 foot court. So come closer. So as of right now, I'm on the singles line, I'm five foot eight. I'm going to give myself a quarter of an inch. One, two, about two feet in. Right? So I'm two feet inside of the singles line and not crossing the plane or keeping the racket. Come over here in front. Done. <coughs> so when you play tennis and you swing and hit your forehand, you're not supposed to cross your six o'clock. You want to take the racket back until five o'clock. So the racket's gonna stay on the right-hand side. Even if you were to turn sideways, the racket will still stay on the right-hand side of the body. The racket should never cross back into that six o'clock zone. So right now I'm about two feet. So when I set up to hit my open stance forehand, right? If you look at where my arm is right here on the side, so I'm getting ready to hit this way. And if you notice, my hand is about maybe a foot behind my body. And that's really just from body rotation. So by turning the shoulders and getting the body to turn towards the right side without taking the racket all the way back behind you. If you look now, you can see the racket's on my side of the court and it's well past the six o'clock. So when I go to hit my forehand, I start from here and I whip backwards first. So the first technique is to whip back and then squeeze across. Now, as I hit the ball, I'm gonna shift my weight from the right foot to the left foot. It'll be the opposite way for the left-handed. So from right foot, and then as I hit, I squeeze flat, get a straight arm, and as I squeeze, I turn across. And come over here, come closer. Come to the front here. Now you're gonna see that my shoulder comes right across. This is key to hitting the ball hard. So you're not gonna hit it hard by getting stronger in the arm. You're gonna wind up hitting it hard because the shoulder's gonna be on the right side of the body. Snap and whip across to the right, to the left side of the body or the right shoulder will come across as you hit. Come on this side. And this is another thing, you gotta keep this L shape. Same thing we went over before. So as I hit, you notice I still have this L shape the flat part of the racket turns across. Come take a look at my hand. And I still have that hard L shape right there. Those are the components of my forehand and this is what it looks like in action. We're still gonna use the net here. So from, come on the other side so you can actually see that part better. Or you can stand right there. I don't know whichever the best view is. Comment below, like, and subscribe. Uh, let me know which view of this you want to see next. So it starts from here, and I just simply drop the ball and come across, and that's just how I hit my forehand. I'm William Vasquez, Coach V. This is your CoachVTennis.com video tip. Like, subscribe, share. The more people I get this information to, the easier it makes tennis for everybody. Hashtag everything that I do, better tennis, fast and simple. Thank you. Good night. I need to subscribe on our channel.